Hey gang, Mower Mike here at Texas HQ. Boy, we've got a treat for you today. I've got this free lawn mower here, Troy Bell 21 inch. It's got the 6.75 Briggs on it. And I'm gonna show you guys the quickest, easiest way to get this sucker running. I've got this thing free from a neighbor. Been sitting for about at least five years. So we know it's got bad gas in it. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to fix the carburetor while it's still on the actual mower. This is the simplest carburetor ever made on these Briggs uh, 6.7. <laughs> <laughs> on these breeze motors. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first step we need to do, we need to get at the actual carburetor. Uh, so what you do is you take this air filter cover off. It's a good time to put a new air filter on it too if it uh, looks pretty gnarly. And then below it here, you need to take these three bolts off. These are all eight millimeter bolts and they just unscrew super, super easy. Now guys, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, this video because it just shows that it just any lawnmower you could fix, you know, because 99% of these problems, they're just bad gas. All the ethanol in the gas clogs up the carburetor jets. And this is just a perfect example of a starter mower for you to fix and get on the mower mic crew. So you pull that off. And what we've got below here, you can see that's the actual carburetor intake. So it sucks in air there, sucks in fuel there. So the first thing we need to do is you want to unhook that fuel line since Remember now, most of these have bad gas in them. So take vice grips or a, you know just any anything to clamp down that, that line right there. Any sort of clamp. And then what you do, you unhook the fuel line coming to it. And it just slides off like so. Now when you have this thing off, the best thing you can do is drain the fuel out of here. Now make sure to put something there. Then you unhook it. I've already actually drained pretty much all the fuel out of here. Uh, then when it's finished draining, hook it, just so you don't have fuel going everywhere. Now, next step is you wanna get the bowl off the carburetor, because that's all we're gonna do here is change out the bowl of the carburetor. Now, underneath there, it is a, let's see, I've got a 13 millimeter socket, or I think you can use a half inch also. And you just, uh, Unscrew the dang thing. These are pretty handy just because it's really just one bolt down there. Well, what I like to do, it's kind of hard to grab. You can just grab that with your hand and then you can twist it off. Now some of these might be a little crusty and they might be stuck on there. You might have to peel it off, maybe hit that with a hammer or something and pull it off. Now make sure that you have your glass line, gas line clipped. If you just do this without actually cutting off the fuel, you're gonna have fuel pouring out of this carburetor. All right, now that we've got the bolts off the bottom of it, now look at this, this thing has holes in it. Now on this carburetor, this is the actual jet that sucks up the fuel and then it shoots it up into the carburetor. So 99% of the time, your issue is this jet where it gets dirty. So we're gonna have to clean it. Now, in order to clean it, I always like to get something to shove in there. You know, my personal preference, I've got a little carburetor cleaning tool here that's got some different uh, little scrub brushes that you shove in there. But if you don't have that, you know, get a twist tie. Now don't do this next to fuel, but twist tie, light the end. Hey, let's go, whoop. And then you get a little, uh, perfect little carburetor cleaning. All right, so what you do is you take it, but first I like to shoot a little carb cleaner down the, the main jet, which is right there in the middle. Make sure you wear safety glasses. And then a little bit down each one of these holes in the side. And then what you do, you can take your little brush or whatever you got, and you just clean out each of these little holes. Shove it all the way through there like so. You see, you come around. Because this is the only jet on the entire carburetor. So, and the, the fuel will just pool in the bottom of that bowl. And it just gets nasty. And it gets clogged up. And this is why your lawnmower doesn't run. Because it's been sitting in that crappy ethanol gas. And uh, get that sucker cleaned out. Now also what you can do. Now if you look at the carburetor on the outside. There's a couple extra little holes that you can hit. You know, specifically right there. There's two right there. I like to hit it with some carb cleaner. And then you can 
you know, get your little cleaning brush in there like so. And just shove in there whatever the biggest thing you can. <laughs> so that one. Oh, that one fits real good. Like so. And then what you need to do, you need to make sure the uh, it's getting fuel. So the way it works is that the fuel comes in from the side here, from that nipple. And as it comes in, it fills up that bowl. And when it comes up to here, it stops. And then as it drains it, sucks it in the motor, it comes down, it fills it up. So you see when you shoot your fuel, shoot your carb cleaner, it should be coming out that nipple. You can see it dripping down below. So that's way you know it's open. Now, if it's not open, you need to get in there and clean it out where it's, you need to actually take that, the uh, float off, take the needle off, and then actually clean it in there, which it'd probably be easier just to take it off at that point. But for just a quick cleaning, I'm just gonna go with this and we're gonna see if she works. All right, so to put it back together, you just do it exact opposite. Make sure you've got the gasket around that carburetor bowl up top, and then you just screw in the, uh, the little bolt on the bottom and it's just one bolt. I mean, this is literally the most simple carburetor ever known to mankind. And with that bolt clean, you know, it, it, it may just start right up. Now, it's good to go through that bolt and all the holes, be thorough with it and clean it the most you can. Sometimes good to get a little brush on there if you got one. If you have compressed air, that's always a good option to, to hit with a little compressed air on there. And then you just want to switch up this bolt on the bottom. All right, so we got our bolt tightened up and then just slip your fuel line back on. Put your clamp on before you actually unhook <laughs> your uh, fuel cutter offer device. And then turn, take that off and fill it with fuel. Now to check, make sure you're not pouring fuel out this carburetor. If it is, that means you have a leaky uh, valve seat in that, in that needle. So then you're probably gonna have to take it off and do a little more work to actually fix that. But most of the time you should be okay. So with that, uh, we're gonna give her a whirl. All right, gang, so this thing literally hasn't run in five years. I'm pretty excited. I have not started this thing yet. It has not run yet. All we've done is put fresh gas in it. We cleaned out that, that carb jet and that's it. We didn't even take the carb off the motor. So let's see if she starts up here. I'm uh, pretty excited. <laughs> Did you hear that first? Oh, oh my, freaking awesome. Look at that. All right, baby. So that proves it. These things, simple carb, just clean that jet out and you should be good to go. Now I'm gonna have another video on doing the whole thing with the oil and the and all the good stuff, you know, the blade and the air filter and the spark plug. But if you just want something quick to knock that grass down and get you rolling, that's it, man. So I hope that it helps some people. Uh, please subscribe, Mower Mike out.